Hello and welcome to In The Stands, a ground hopping channel where it will document me going to different football grounds all over the North East, as well as branching out to some areas if we can, of course. Um, I'll be posting every so often on YouTube and of course on TikTok as well. I'll go to some grounds, just you know, take a couple of pictures, enjoy the experience, and of course try the food out as well. Bit of a spin-off from other series that you might see on YouTube as well, but this is something I've really wanted to do for quite some time, so yep, hope you do enjoy it. So today I'm heading over to Towlow Town FC as they play Bedlington in the FA Vars. I've been passing this ground for quite some time now, so I've been wanting to go for a while. I don't live too far away from the ground, so it was quite easy to get to, and it was a nice day to say the least. Normally Towlo. It is quite cold. It is quite windy. I've been through there a few times when it's been snowing. Not quite pleasant, but let's see how today goes as well. Fingers crossed there is no snow. Anyways, fingers crossed there is no snow. Spoiler alert, there is no snow. I know, giveaway already. Um, so yeah, let's walk straight into the ground. And first impressions are not that bad. I do like these very small grounds. You know, the community feel to it. I absolutely love it. So time then to pick my spot where I'll be watching the first half from. Not bad. Got myself some raffle tickets as well. One pound a strip. All the money goes towards the day, -to day running of the football club. But I think it's time we checked in to Towlo Town FC. Yes, I use this app called Footballogy, which keeps track of all the football matches I've been to this year. As you can see, I'm checking in there to Towlo Town. Uh, I'm not sponsored by this, by the way. This is just an app I found within the uh, ground hopping community. You might already use it, you might not. But if you are out there and you want to do ground hopping, or you uh, you have been doing ground hopping and you don't know this app, Really, really uh, highly, highly recommend. There's all the games I've been to this year. So all you do is that you go to a football match, you put on your, you put on your location, go on to my game, and then of course it'll come up with the fixture you are at. So it's at Chester Street, Newcastle, uh, South Shields. I've already been to this year. And in case you're wondering, my first ever football match was Newcastle United against West Bromwich Albion. And so if you want to go back to previous fixtures, you can do just that. Right after all that, it's time to greet the players to this amazing atmosphere we've got today. Right, enough messing around. It's time for kickoff. And first up, heads. Free kick here for Tao Law. Can he release his inner Kieran Trippier? No. More like inner Harry Kane corners. Tao Law now with another chance. Got through ball. Can you make anything of it? No. Corner ball. Can anyone smell chips? So here is a corner then, but not that corner. This was a different corner. Nothing came with that corner, but it heads. Straight off the line. Back out. Tao Law with another chance to whip the ball in. What can he do? But do you know when somebody stood behind you and they don't realise? Ah, Jesus Christ. Rare chance from Bellington in this game. Ball into the box, cleared by Taolo. It's going to come back out, cleared away, but do a Taolo player on the edge of the box. Can he hit it? Oh, it's just straight off the bar. Three points to Wigan. Corner then from Taolo into the box. Heads. Oof. Very, very close. I can still smell chips. I can literally smell chips throughout the entirety of that first half. So I decided I'm going to go there to get myself some chips. Not me awkwardly trying to film the menu. In here they are then, gravy and chips, absolutely beautiful. And yes, that is me putting ketchup on gravy and chips. Found a bench to watch the end of the first half with my coke and my chips, very, very nice indeed. And just like that, it was half time. <laughs> Tell me the chips were hot without telling me the chips were hot. So since I'm called in the stands, I may as well be in a stand. So for the second half, I thought, let's watch it from that stand over there. It makes sense, kind of. Now, as if by magic, we're in a stand. Let's start then the second half. The score is still at nil-nil. Not a good half from Bellington. Only had a couple of chances, so they really want to kick on the second half. All guns blaze and try and get an early goal to upset the opposition, but it's a good ball through. Can you make anything from it? But the official raises his flag. It's offside. Free kick then for Taolo. Bellington did have a good start to the second half, but Taolo came back and definitely are looking like the strongest side. A chance cleared away there. Bellington looks like they're going to go on the counter-attack, but if, if I had to make a prediction right now, I think the next goal is going to be coming from Taolo. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, there wasn't many chances in the second half. The game sort of died down after the first goal. I thought there would have been a little bit more drama. But who fancies a late challenge right on the full-time whistle? I certainly do. And that was probably as good as the second half got, to be fair. So it's time to leave the stand, short walk down a hill, 
and get in the car to head off home. So there we are then, my time at Tao Law has come to an end, really did enjoy my time there. So before I go, I'll just quickly talk about my experience. Like I said at the start of the video, I really do enjoy them small, you know, local non-league grounds there, the grounds I grew up on there, the grounds I used to go to when I was a kid, so I really enjoy visiting uh, grounds like that. I won't comment on atmosphere because it's not really fair, especially when it's that level, you're not going to get much atmosphere, you know, people just want to come and watch a decent game of football. So um, I'm not really going to comment on that. I did make a couple of jokes, of course, but you know, that's just that's just, <laughs> that's just just me. Um, the food-wise as well, I had them chips and gravy, really, really enjoyed them chips, very, very nice. Some were very, you know, do you know when they got like them really crispy, lovely chips that they're the ones I like as well um, but overall as well it was really really cheap as it is at this kind of level it was what £6 entry I think the raffle tickets were £2 each the food came to about £3.60 I think roughly around that mark so you know it's a really really cheap day out and if you do want to you know I know we are living through some hard times at the minute so if you want to go and watch some football but you can't afford to go to the likes of the Premier League Championship League 1, League 2 highly highly recommend to go and follow your local team good luck to Bellington who of course are through to the next round of uh, the FA Vars. That's of course brings the end to this video. Thank you so much for watching as well. And apologies if it wasn't the best. I'm still, like I said, I'm, I am new to this, so it's just a bit new to me. I'm just trying, you know, trying to find my feet. Hope you did enjoy it as well. Go and subscribe on YouTube as well, or and give us a follow on TikTok. I will post both of these videos up on them socials as well. And like I say, just give us some, give us some feedback. I would like to see some feedback from from you guys if you are watching this. Really, really appreciate it. But take care of yourselves. Watch what you're doing, and I'll see you all in the next one.